Hey there, just a quick moment before the video begins, I just want to mention that I am on Patreon now, so if you guys want to help me and help the channel grow, make sure to check it out, the links will be in the descriptions below. Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here, hope you're all having a good week. Uh, GW pre-orders this week, there is a no models up for pre-order. Um, but we do have some other goodies up. There is uh, plenty of painting and modeling bits. We have a metallic paint collection. There are three boxes with uh, scene three boxes of scenic bases, which I'll get into more. Uh, we have the sector imperialist large base detail kit uh, and the gemstone paint paint collection. And also we have these brand new shades, which are in the bigger pots and they're gloss. So I'll talk a little bit more about them. But um, but first off, I'm going to talk about these uh, scenic bases for 40k. Now, these go from fantastic to a bit iffy. And hopefully you'll see why. Um, this is the first one. We have Sector Imperialis 32mm round bases. And what you get in this is you'll receive 60 32mm round bases. Which is a lot of bases. Um, now what you're going to see in this video. I'm going to have three different price tags. I'm going to have the English pound. I'm going to have the American dollar. And I'm going to have the euro. So I think it's only fair if I'm going to be doing prices. I might as well mix it up a bit. So this is coming in at 20 pound. Uh, which is 26 euro. And it's 33 dollars. Now this is all. It's not really. It mightn't be converted right. But when I change the settings to US and to UK. This is the prices that comes up on the website. So 26 euro and 33 dollars and it's 20 pound. I was a bit iffy at the start about this. I was thinking, geez, that's a lot of money for just some bases. But with this box, you're getting 60 of them. Um, and you might want to spend that much on bases, but you're getting 60 of them and they're all scenic. I think they're really nice. Some people might think of scenic bases as being a bit lazy, maybe. Um, instead of just wanting to do your own. But I have no problem with them. I think they look great. Um, I could easily, I wouldn't get offended if someone came up to play me and their whole army was on these. I'd actually love it. It'd be pretty nice. Um, yes, yeah, so twenty pound. Uh, I think it's well worth it to be honest. If it's if for me, it's twenty six euro for sixty bases. Uh, it's definitely a hit in my book. I think they're great. Uh, the price is a little high, you know that, but you're getting a lot of stuff in this one. Uh, then the other one we have the Sector Imperialis twenty five and forty millimeter round bases now this is the one where it gets a little bit uh you get a mix of bases you'll receive 20 25 millimeter round bases and 20 44 round bases with 32 extra skulls for decoration now i, I don't know why they didn't just add that in to the other ones getting those extra skulls would have been pretty awesome so this is if you have a nice mixture of 25 and 40 millimeter bases in your army Instead of just getting the 60 32 millimeters, here we have some, I want to say Skatari guys, um, looking pretty good. This is again, it's 20 pound, like all these boxes are the same price. You have 20 pound, 26 euro, and 33 dollars. Uh, there are how many is this in the one? So there's 40 bases in this one, you're getting 20 less, but you're getting 20 bigger bases, uh, and 20. 20 smaller bases than the previous box but you're getting some skulls for decoration if that's what you want to go for uh still pretty good in my mind i think it's a nice decent bundle you're getting the bigger bases which really look nice on the bigger models and then we kind of come to the the ones that are okay this box you have the sector imperialis 60 millimeter rounds uh 75 millimeter oval and 90 millimeter oval bases so if you have an army that has a lot of cavalry or uses a lot of oval bases, you're getting a bit of a a mix here again. Uh, the only problem with this is this is this is the same price, twenty pound. Um, you're getting six of each base. I don't know whether you might need like I can see in a lot of circumstances you might need more than six of this one, and you're just not going to use some of these. Um, no, it could work out perfect for your army. You're getting six dreadnought bases, which is really good, um, and plenty of cavalry bases. But are there, is there enough of the size you need in this box? I think maybe if they had 
and uh, which one is it? Uh, maybe 10 75 millimeters. Well, 12 and take out the 90 millimeters. Whichever one, I think you'd have to look at it stat statistically and figure out which what which bases are mostly used. So you know, it's kind of okay. You're getting a mixed bundle, but it's really I don't know how much of these you would be using. You might want to. If you want to buy the box just for these, then you're going to have the rest of them left over. But I'm sure you could fit them in somewhere. Then the last one. This is the Sector Imperialis Large Base Detail Kit. Now this one has me a bit of a... Not too sure about. It's £20, £26, $33. There isn't any bases in this, I thought. So basically what this is. The box contained, contained in this box you get 72 bits of rubble. Pieces that evoke broken examples from the Sector Imperialis uh, game board with skulls and aquilias adequately represented. So basically, here's the picture you're getting bits of broken terrain. You have a barrel there, just like a pole or a post. Uh, you know, lots of uh, Imperial stuff and all that. Um, for the price you're paying and you don't get a base and here you can see on the on a, a titan base now you could use these for this is what has me mixed about this it's the same price as the other ones which i think are much better value and um, you don't get a base with it uh, but on the good side if you do buy this at least you can use these for anything else for terrain but you're still paying like 20 pound for a couple of bits of pieces to go out to scatter around the board. You know, maybe get a once off thing. Maybe buy these once and just use them if you have the money. And uh, like, it, it is nice. You do get some really nice pieces. You can really get an imperial board. Uh, looking at a, having it, looking at a good standard with these pieces. So, that, like, it, it would work, you know, but I don't know. Maybe if the price was a little bit lower or even if it included a Titan base. For Christ's sake, I'm sure they could have fitted one in there. So this one's a little bit iffy with me. Uh, finally, we have the Gemstone Paint Collection. Now, these you can get these singly or singular. Um, there are three thirty each in euro, which is I think it's five seventy five in dollars and in pound. I didn't write it down, so we're just gonna look at this collection over here. So it's eleven fifteen in pound, fourteen forty in euro. And eighteen fifty in dollars. Now I can't talk too much about new paints as they're coming out, but you have um three new ones, three new technical paints for gemstone painting or anything else like that, and you have a new Stormhole Silver layer paint. So let's have a quick look at what it says about these new uh, gemstone paints. This is the perfect paint bundle for you, containing every paint you need. Uh, for gemstone pan, I missed the start over there. A pot of the Stormhorse Silver layer, a pot of the Stormhorse Silver layer paint, and a pot of each spirit stone red, soul stone blue, and west stone green citadel technical gel paints. Oh, expressively or expressly designed to make gemstones glitter and shine. So these look like they could be pretty nice. Uh, here you have some Eldar guns. The no, what has me thinking? Let's have a quick look at the green one. The green one is nice, but my favorite is definitely the blue. So what it had this has me thinking is this undercoated with the silver, and then this is just like one or two coats of the gemstone paint, and that's it. And it turns out like this, which looks pretty nice. Um, if it is, these look like the cubby. Some of the handiest paints you can have in your collection for getting these tricky gemstones painted up. Um, I know it's kind of been a pain for me. Do it a bright color, put some glass varnish over it, and there you go. Um, but these look like this is something I would like to get. At least that blue one, maybe the red. I'm not too pushed on the green yet. Uh, but maybe the red and the blue to add to my collection and use it here and there to see if it really works. As I said, you can't talk too much about it until you've tried this one, especially. But uh, these look pretty good to me. I'd like to get them and have a go on myself. So that is it. Just painting and modeling stuff this week. Um, oh, here we have the prices here. Two fifty five in pounds for the pants each. Um, 
And I'd really like to see what these Newland Oil, Reikland Flesh Shade, Agrax Earth Shade, Gloss um, Shades come out like. I can understand Newland Oil, uh, maybe Agrax Earth Shade, but Reikland Flesh Shade, I'd like to see how people are going to use that. Maybe Warhammer TV might have a video up where they're showing you how to use each one of these. I'd like to see the Reikland Flesh right, uh, <laughs> I'd like to see the Reikland Flesh Gloss. Um, and see how it works, or where, or where would you use it? So that's it for this week. I think it's a good pre-order week. Uh, these bases are pretty good in my opinion. Um, this one here, the detail, large base detail kit is a bit iffy. I suppose if you want your Titan to look the best, um, I suppose you could go for it. Maybe if you have a couple of Titans, because Titans are. Aren't as hard to get as they used to be years and years ago. You probably have a lot more of them are going around now. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. We have the three different boxes of bases. Um, the, large, the Imperialis Large Base Detail Kit. And Gemstone Paint Collection. Which I am, um, the more I look at it, the more I want to get my hands on them. So um yeah, let me know what you guys think below. I'll leave a comment. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully you guys will have a good week. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.